Hey everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a character walk along a path in Blender without any foot slipping. It's super clean, and once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to set up. Alright, so first, open up Blender and create a new project. Press A to select everything in the scene and hit delete to clear it out. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me enable the screencast keys so you can see all my shortcuts. That's done, now let's move on. Press F4, go to import and bring in your character. I'm using one I downloaded from Mixamo, which is a great site for free animated characters. You can check it out if you haven't already. Now, let's add a path for the character to walk along. Press Shift plus A and choose a Fezier curve. Rotate it to face the direction you want the character to walk in. Then go into edit mode and shape the curve however you like. This will be the path the character follows. Once you're done, switch back to object mode. Next, we need something to control the character's movement. So let's add an empty, again, that's shift plus A, and then select empty plane axis. Now it's time to parent everything correctly. Select your character and its armature first, then hold shift and select the empty last. Press Ctrl plus P and choose Object. Keep Transform. That way, everything is now controlled by the empty. With the empty still selected, go over to the Constraints tab and add a Follow Path constraint. For the target, select the Bezier curve we created earlier. You'll probably notice the character jumps to a different spot. That's normal. Just select the empty and rotate or move it so it's sitting at the start of the curve where you want the walk to begin. Now, right now the character is only walking for a few frames. To fix that, open the Nonlinear Animation Editor, also called the Enlay Editor. You'll see your walk cycle listed there. Click on the action and hit push down to convert it to a strip. Now just increase the repeat value. I'll set mine to 6, so the walk animation loops longer. Alright, now let's animate the character moving along the path. With the empty selected, go to the offset value in the follow path constraint. Make sure you're on frame 1, then left click the little diamond icon next to the offset value to insert a keyframe. Now jump forward in the timeline, maybe to frame 120, increase the offset value, and click the diamond icon again to insert another keyframe. Now select both of those keyframes, right click, go to interpolation mode, and change it to linear. That gives us a constant speed. If you play the animation now, you'll notice the character is walking, but there's some foot sliding going on. Let's fix that. First, go to frame 1 and look closely. Whichever foot is second to touch the ground, we want to use that as a reference. Place the 3D cursor right where that foot hits the ground. Now scrub forward a bit until that foot lifts off the ground. While on that frame, select the empty, adjust the offset value until the foot lines up with the 3D cursor again, and add a new keyframe. Next, open the graph editor and find the offset curve. Select the last keyframe and move it so its value matches the second keyframe. You'll know it's right when the graph becomes a straight diagonal line. That means constant motion and no sliding. And that's it. Your character is now walking along a path and the feet stay planted exactly as they should. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what tutorial you want next. Thanks for watching.